Once planted, these perennials will continue to bloom throughout the summer, leaving you with nothing to do but sit back and enjoy the garden's colorful displays. Let's just have a peek at the list. Number one, delightful daily. Glowing gold, the trumpet-shaped yellow blossoms of the Stella Doro daily brighten the garden all summer long. This summer blooming perennial is unfazed by high temperatures and dry spells. In this case, it goes wonderfully with blue ornamental onion or aliamajoram to produce a stunning effect. Zones three to nine are ideal for the majority of cultivars. Number two, rib blooming lilac. The blooming season of bloomering lilacs spans from early spring to midsummer, and then again from early October. This small-sized cultivar is ideal for any garden, as it only reaches a height and width of four to five feet. This summer blooming perennial produces an abundance of showy lavender purple flowers that dry well. In zones three to seven, this plant thrives. Number three, heavenly hydrangea. Most species of hydrangea only flower once before they die for the season. However, endless summer flowers on new growth, so you can enjoy its blooms multiple times over the summer. Endless summer hydrangeas guarantee a stunning show for gardeners in chilly climes when winter damage stops other hydrangeas from flowering. This plant is hardy in climate zones three through seven. Number four, Rosandranium. Rosandranium is an eye-catching plant that thrives in partial shade to full sun and has vibrant purple flowers from late spring until frost. The wide-ranging plant can expand up to three feet and produce a stunning carpet of greenery. Plants in climate zones five to eight can survive with this species. Number five, Coreopsis. Coreopsis or Tixseed is a summer annual with a profusion of cheerful yellow flowers. In this example, we see that Domino has a mahogany band around the middle of its flowers. To prevent the plant from producing seeds and to encourage continued flowering, remove faded flowers. Hardiness zone four through nine is suitable for Coreopsis. Number six, Catmint. Walker's Low Catmint has beautiful purple flower spikes that contrast with its gray-green foliage. After the plant's initial spring flowering, Give it a trim to maintain it compact and to encourage new flower growth. Catmint requires little care and may survive in both hot and dry climates. Grow zones three to eight can accommodate the stunning catmint. Number seven, Speedwell. Speedwell is an underappreciated perennial that provides continuous summertime color and is available in a wide range of blue, pink, and white hues. Shoo the plant after the initial blooms have faded to promote new growth and subsequent blooming. Spike Speedwell, Knockout Rose, and Six Hills Giant Catmint work together to put on a stunning show that lasts throughout the growing season. In climate zones three to eight, Speedwells thrive. Number eight, pincushion flower. Butterfly, the blue pincushion flower is a summer long blooming perennial. The blue pillow shaped flowers, which sit on tall, thin stems of 12 to 15 inches, are an excellent method to attract butterflies. The optimal range for this plant is zones three to seven. Number nine, Shasta daisy. Becky Shasta daisies, with their ethereal white flowers, are a welcome addition to any perennial landscape. Cutting dead flowers off will encourage new growth when the time comes. 
Shasta daisies, which are beautiful, may be grown in zones four to nine. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.